I'll take you to the process of developing different maps such as road map, settlement map, population map, and river system map of Bhutan. So in order to develop this, uh, as usual, what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, data. So if the data is missing in your desktop, then what you will do is you can either click on this home and then you might have uh, kept your data in the desktop. So click on desktop and then look for the data. Or you can click on C drive and D drive and look for the data. So mine is in C drive. So I'll go to Rix this data, RECGIS data. Then look for the Tonga shift files. So double click on the shift files. Now try to change this color if you want. Double click on this Tonga shift files. Simple fill. So I want to change it to white. Then apply. Okay. Now let us first develop the river system of Bhutan. So what we'll do is we'll look for the data river. So I'll choose this name river ship ship files. So if you want to choose river major rivers of Bhutan, you can use this ship file. If it's river in streams, you can choose this one. So I'll choose name ship files. I'll try to change this the color of river so double click on name rivers and then I can change the color click on color let it be blue and click apply ok now let us name the rivers so in order to name the rivers you can click on river name rivers okay, this time you go to level click on single level click on buffer then check this draw text buffer click apply then ok so you will have the names of river if you try to zoom in will have other names also so this is how you look for the names of the river if you want to be same as a previous map just click on this three dots three arrow so you'll have this map now we'll try to make the map of settlement so if you don't want to have this name reverse just click on this and remove this level so this will be gone okay now we'll try to make a settlement settlement map of Bhutan so click on the settlement so you'll have a settlement of Bhutan if you want to add levels again in a similar process double click on the settlement file single level dot text buffer apply ok so since this settlement is very clustered we are not able to see the owner of the house so in order to see this we can click on this plus sign and then click here so we'll have the names of the house owner here so this is how we do it again to bring it back or if you want to see the other settlements just click on this palm and try to drag press the left mouse and then try to drag drag ok so in a similar process we can make the maps of population we can make the map of road 
so if you want to remove this one and add the roadmap just right click and then remove this layer ok and then try to look for the data road even if you want to make the map of Geok you can drag this here file you have Geok files also you have towns and cities so this is how you make the different maps done so if you drag the road and then double click on this so you'll have this and then if you want to change this go to symbology and then you'll use this dash black or you can choose the color from here I want it to be simple dash apply ok now let us try to name the root double click and go to level single level buffer check this store text buffer apply and then ok so if you try to zoom so you'll have the names of the road so this is how you find it out so in a similar process you can tell other maps also so in order to make it as a final in a similar process uh, the way we have done in a previous lesson just go to project and then click on new print layout and then give the name and your roadmap then add item add map so you can drag and then save it as a jpeg file go to layout and then try to save it So since we did not have the previous map, we kept it zooming. So if you click again, you will get the map. this is the map then showing the route thank you